Good morning, I'm Martin Roth. I'm the director of the VNIN. Thank you for coming to the Culture and Crisis, the international conference hosted by the VNA with our colleagues at the Institute for Preservation of Cultural Heritage at the Yale University and with the support of UNESCO. And if I may say that when I called Stefan Simon, who has this very important job to build a security department at the Yale University, I think it took less than two seconds. He said, yes, we do it. And thank you to all of you for coming today. Let's make it very short, because we have not so much time today. We have a lot of short statements, and I think it's extremely important that we meet today. I want to say a very few things about what, who, and why. Let's start with the VNA. The VNA was founded as an international institution, international museum, today we would probably say a museum of globalization, mid 19th century. If you want to learn about India, mid 19th century, it was in the VNA. If you want to learn about the Middle East, it was in the VNA. Go to our collection, you will make expeditions in, that country, in those countries and cultures and civilizations at that time, and today it's an amazing heritage. If, you, if your parents are from Aleppo or Damascus and you grow up in London and you want to see something about your hometown, come to the VNIN. By the way, today our team around Anna Jackson um, installed a beautiful showcase in the Jamil Gallery with our objects from Syria, just in case you have time to see it. So there's a reason, a real reason for us to think about what's going on in Syria to support our colleagues if we can and to understand what's going on. So information, information and information is something that is probably the most important right now. Share information. And to share information not only among museums, the museums are somehow I don't know where it comes from, but museums have this big ego. And um, I think if we learn to share more information among the museums, across the sector, but also with trade, our trade, with military, with NGOs, with help organizations, foreign offices, I think it would help a lot. Just collect information. If I'd be really brutal to you today, I, I don't have so many expectations for a real outcome today. But just the fact that you are here today is so important. There's another why, and it's a very personal why. And this very personal why I talked to you already, it's Vernon Repley. Vernon, who is the security director of the VNA, and is the former head of Scotland Yard's Specialist Art and Antique Unit. I asked Vernon years ago to start this program, and we are still in the beginning, but Vernon created a network of museums, a kind of museum security group, and I hope you will under, we will support Vernon's strategies for the future, so the meeting today is part of it. Who will be here today? We are really glad that you accepted our invitation. Um, it's the second time, if I may say so, it's the second time that I called the Italian ambassador, uh, Mr. Ambassador, and you said immediately, yes, we will try it. The first time it was the Prime Minister, Mr. Renzi, who came, and now it's the Deputy Secretary of Culture and Tourism. Um, thank you for coming to the conference. Um, Secretary, because um, I think it's so important that you tell us more about your press release about two weeks ago when you said we need some joint forces with military and culture. I think it's a very interesting topic. We have colleagues from the British Museum and the Smithsonian Museum. We have the Foreign Office of Germany here and the FCO. We have Igrom and Icomus, and we have a series of videos presentation from colleagues in Yemen, Libya, Nigeria, Mali, and Syria. If there's something that I, I just talked to Martin Bailey about it, because um, if we think about the why we have that 
conference today and what is it exactly would be really difficult to declare. Those are just some press cuttings of the last few days. So I think there's a lot of reason if you just open YouTube, the newspaper, TV or whatever it is and then you know why we are meeting today. I think we all feel it's pretty desperate. I, th I think we all share that feeling that we are without power. And if we can share ideas today, bring different ideas together in the evening, and to have something like a list of action points, I think that could be the most prominent task for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being here. And uh, have a great conference.